E I E E E E E. Whoa. So another way to look at sound masking involves looking at some big fancy scientific terms like phenome intelligibility. Basically that's the amount of knowledge we can acquire from the sounds of the words and the consonants themselves when we're listening to a sentence. The opposite of that is kind of the articulation index. So what, what do we have to guess at? The light brown dog jumped over the picket fence. Now I'm going to add some more articulation index by eliminating some consonant sound. He, e, I, ro, og, m, e, e, or, hi, e, et, in, e. Oh, wow. Now if I enhance that even more, e, i, o, a, u, a, a, e, e, i, e, 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 e. Whoa, you really can't understand what I'm saying, can you? So that's pretty much how sound masking works in a way. By those uh, masking sounds being amplified, it kind of blurs some of the consonant noises to where we can tell that somebody's talking, but we don't know what they're saying. So we leave it to their brain to figure it out. But luckily in an office type environment, our brain kind of relaxes with that. So we can tell somebody's talking, but we're able to focus more on what we're doing ourselves.